What is up everyone? It's Kesmir, and I'm back with The Walking Dead. Um, our buddy Mark just got shot in the arm with an arrow. Everybody showed up. I don't know. I don't... I don't like it here. I, it feels shady. They're, they're way too happy, way too... Welcoming, I guess. It's... it's Everybody's running out of food, and there's no nothing, and they're just like, "Hey, shut! Come on, show up! We'll hey, take Clint, care of you." You like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure, happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Okay. Give that butt a rest, Duck. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. It would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> Dang, Kenny. Can't even get the trigger. They look happy. Alright, so they're up there. I want to go to this barn. And we haven't even addressed the fact that why did the electricity turn on while we're out there? I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Yeah, what's that about? You knew we were out there working on it. That thing keeps a fence electrified. Yeah, it does. Can I go over here now? Check out this gazebo first. Oh man, it's Larry. I don't like talking to Larry. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Words of wisdom from Larry. No, oh, I have to talk to her then. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? I'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. should say this. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself and me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. 
So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad, and I love him. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lovin. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. He's trying to keep the peace. Not exactly what I wanted Wait, to say, but... doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Yeah, I don't... <clears throat> in this situation, too, I wouldn't... Um... They're kind of putting all their eggs in one basket with just the electric fence. Like, I'd have the electric fence... I don't know, I'd, I'd be building walls, too. But, I don't know, is it just the three of them here? I haven't seen anybody else. Is this... Can I look at this? Oh, that's just the crops back there. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Go this way. Can I go in here? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. You know, you're gonna try opening it? What's in here? If there's not enough room in the okay, house for Lee. all of us, I you guess said a few that of us could camp out here in shifts. Alright, I don't think there's anything else, so let's go up to the house. I don't get why I couldn't have come up to the barn earlier, there's nothing over there unless I go inside. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, it'll I... be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Just gonna gloss over the fact that they turned the fence on on us, I guess. I love Clementine. If I could be lucky every day, I would. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's got to be close. I don't like this, guys. Here. Oh, shit. You found it? You 
you see anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Nothing but fumes. Shit. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? We don't know whose camp this is. Might not be bandits. It must be. They don't share their neighborhood. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looked like... It looked like there was a kid's... A kid's sleeping bag looks in like there. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Just water. Empty. Nothing. Yuck, I don't need that. I think I've looked at everything, haven't I? Looks like they expected to be here a while. Um, am I missed something. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. L let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they Why got is over that here? Good? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Why is it good that the camera doesn't work? Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff.
Don't fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. If you tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? A little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for... Oh. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Bush. Whatever. <sighs> You're just gonna tell us something it's pretty a clean important, shot, I think. Though, right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. But she's not a part of that group. She was just telling us that. telling that guy to tell us something but they did so what did they do they did something man that was a hell of a ride huh Jesus Danny what you ain't getting soft on them are you not after what they did to your friend you're back what happened handled it mama This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them, it's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Can we go into the barn finally? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's confusing. So we got a camera and we got Clementine's hat. It sounds like a storm is rolling in. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. You sure are proud of that, Lee. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. Oh, this My guy's girl creepy. Here. You really like that guy. What's not to like? <laughs> it's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. Oh my. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. Yeah, but... We didn't pay anything, you just took us in. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. I don't like, like, he's the creepiest one out of all three. Hope Mark is okay in there. Has anybody checked on Mark since he's gone in? It's a small toolbox. That it is. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Did I just steal a multi tool? going on over here hey so what happened at the camp did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt mark we found a woman in the woods she was talking all crazy and had a crossbow so Danny killed her holy shit was she one of those bandits I don't think so I don't know I think she was trying to tell me something but then he just went off I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor in where we at least know what to expect. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, that's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here, and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Hmm... I think Kenny and I have the same idea. Something's not right. I like Kenny. He seems like he's got a good head on his shoulders. Nothing over here still? Alright. 
Don't know where Kenny's at. Maybe he's in the barn. Let's go in here. Maybe Katja, Kenny, Duck, and Clem are all in here. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. She says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Boy, haven't I heard that before? So he's in here. Uh, let's talk to people here. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Mm, it smells funny in here. Like shit, right, Lee? Yep. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, don't use swear words, okay? Okay. Sorry. That's my fault. <laughs> uh, let's talk to Hey there, Andy. Yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Yeah, that, that tripped him up, too. Thanks. Yep. Gotta pay attention to those little nuances in games like this. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen. Did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. Can't talk to Katja. Curious where Kenny stormed off to. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Okay. Poor duck. Just checking for any goodies. Empty. stuff. Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. 
what is that like IV bags? It's a feeding trough. It's a feeding trough. Very perceptively. Just some fence posts. Just some foul smelling clothes and IVs. Found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No, why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. <laughs> oh, you are not saying what I think <laughs> you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. What? You... See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Mama gets nervous when you discover her secrets. I thought Kenny was going to distract him. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Talk to him. Let's talk to him. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. like yourself run this whole place. Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. 
I couldn't do it without it. At least Larry's a little useful. See if uh, she has anything to say now that Larry's gone. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Alrighty. Well, I think we're gonna sneak in there. I'm just curious if there's a better way to distract that guy. I mean, if I tell him his brother needs something, he's just gonna walk out here, go talk to his brother. His brother's gonna be like, I didn't need anything. And they're like, what the heck? him to do something? Hello. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. Some bloody clothes. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Probably shouldn't have said that, but... We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> he just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, oh, yeah. don't know if I would have used those words oh, yeah. exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He can definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. It's just an arrow. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. Oh. I don't know if I should ask this question. Think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. I think we'll just leave that alone. Alright. I don't know what's going to happen when we open this door. So, I guess we're going to stop here. And when we get back next time, tomorrow, um, we'll go open up that back barn door. Try to. So, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Kazimir out.